Now, across payments in capital markets, we've seen a common thread of innovation acceleration over the last couple of years, driven by pockets of multi-entity collaboration. Market infrastructures, global utilities, global banks and technology companies have joined forces to pilot concepts from asset tokenization all the way through to digital currency, testing out real-world implementations. Well, to talk about the massive potential of this multi-entity collaboration approach, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined in the studio by Tom Schack, who's the Chief Innovation Officer at SWIFT, and also by Gloria Vargas, who's the Global Partnership Lead at Amazon Web Services. It's good to see both of you. Don't you feel sad because Cybos is winding down? Tired, but sad, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It's been, been a, really great. Yeah, it's been a fantastic event. I think exceeded everybody's expectations in terms of being together and, and just the content and the quality of the conversation has oh. been fantastic. And the numbers of people coming through the doors was alluded to, in fact, yeah. well, with, 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 in relation to one particular stand, but it's yeah. really telling us everything that we need to know, that people are engaged mm -hmm. and they want to continue the conversations along the plenary halls. Yeah. And, and Cybos being a flagship you know, show for the industry uh, and, and just being in a, in a great venue uh, in the middle of Amsterdam is, you know, the energy's here, the people are here, and it, it's been a great week. Mm, back with a vengeance. But look, Tom, Swift and AWS, they do have a long history together. So what is that history? Because you've been collaborating now over the years. Yeah, we have. And, and I mean, that's an important part of the execution of our strategy is to work very closely with, with strategic partners. And so we don't use that, uh, you don't use that title lightly. And, and we have have a long history of, uh, of collaboration, uh, both in terms of products that have been rolled out and services and capabilities that are available to our customers, but also on the innovation front. Um, that, that's an important uh, part for us. And I think, you know, with the timing that we have now, there's always, the, the question always is, what's the driver? What, you know, like, why now? And, and I think really what we're seeing is really kind of a combination of, uh, of payment modernization programs that are being run in many financial institutions across many members across the world, and then also kind of the more immediate one, which is which is the beginning of the migration to ISO 2022. And that's an opportunity because it's a, a, a pretty significant undertaking for many financial institutions to say, you know, what else can we do to modernize our state? How else can we do this differently now that, you know, that, that this project is upon us and, and, and we're committed to modernization? Mm, so there's so much happening. And Gloria, how are you supporting your customers with that swift connectivity? Yeah, no, thank you for that question. Uh, we've seen global banks, uh, from the global banks to the smaller fintechs connecting to SWIFT and wanting to leverage cloud for what Tom was mentioning, payments modernization and really changing how they are providing services to their customers because at the end of the day, that's all what we are about and what SWIFT is about, helping banks provide those services to their customers. So we have a few exciting things that have happened in the last few years. Uh, we have actually released with SWIFT a connectivity, a cloud native connectivity to maintain that secure connection, but allowing the banks to actually move their workloads and really start that journey of payment modernization. And uh, I think one thing that is very interesting and in security obviously job zero for AWS, but it's also job zero for SWIFT. So we have been very focused on building solutions and automating solutions so the banks can move securely, maintaining that uh, consistency across the 11,000 banks that SWIFT supports and still open up for new developments and innovation, which is at the end of the day, like Tom said, um, is there's a lot of excitement on new initiatives. So we've been very focused on supporting their customers in how they want to provide new services to, to their customers. So yeah, we have released a few things in the last week actually before Cybos in terms of uh, compliance and ensuring that connectivity is secure. Um, and we do see a lot of excitement for what's to come. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah, and on the subject of what's to come, what is next on the horizon for SWIFT, Tom, in terms of this cloud enabled transformation for payments and of course, securities transactions? Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, the list is long and the time is, is short, but I can tell you what we've talked about a lot and it's been kind of on the top of minds and, and, and a big part of the uh, conversation this week at, at, at Cybos. Um, one is around uh, new forms of digital um, assets and new forms of value that could be carried over, over the SWIFT network. Um, it's it, it, the, the opportunity, you know, uh, and what we see, uh, the energy that's there is, uh, is real. Um, and there's a lot of really creative minds trying to figure out what do we do next. From SWIFT's point of view, uh, we want to make sure that, that it, this is all anchored on interoperability. Right, so, so we think that in, in, whether it's a country creating a CBDC and a new form of their 
currency or, or, or a new um, a fintech, uh, creating a new um, uh, type, of, uh, type of value or type of asset. Um, without interoperability, it, it's going to be really difficult to fully realize uh, the value that they're creating. Mm. Right? Actually, you could go in the other direction. You could start creating more fragmentation. Or you could build a digital island, which, again, does, will not yeah. allow them to it's kind of reach. self-defeating. Self-defeating, yeah. So, um, and, and so we could, we kind of have two ways we can go, and, and I think we're, we're being fairly ambitious in, in proposing solutions, you know, as, as these new assets are being created, the yeah. new networks are it's being it's created. But you're basically being preemptive because the, the, you, you're right, these are new assets which are being created in the current but again, innovation, more will arise. Yeah, and being preemptive in terms of we, we think we know where this is going and we've taken it as far as we can. Now we'll propose a solution and, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll bring banks together and central banks together in the case of central bank digital currencies to, to figure out, to do practical experiments on how this would work cross-border. Because I don't think anybody really knows the answer. And I think you know, SWIFT's in a great position and a trusted position uh, to, to bring the market participants together to actually work out you know, the, the, the solutions here. And, and Gloria, AWS is enabling all of these things to be scalable, resilient and secure. I mean, the task is huge given the <laughs> emergence of these different assets. But can you talk us, tell us more about this? Because it's not easy. It's constantly changing. Exactly. And, and I think as for SWIFT, the focus is inter interoperability with all these new schemes that are coming up. For us, the focus is on implementing technology that can support those innovations. So like you were mentioning, global, scalable, resilience, those are the things that we're focusing on. Just to give you an example, we um, have uh, participated in a pilot on a blockchain-based implementation, um, and we helped the team, the working group, which is actually an industry working group with SWIFT and banks uh, around the table, uh, to scale to one million transactions per second in our platform. Now, what we are doing is ensuring that the platform grows as the innovation from SWIFT and from the industry is demanding, and that's what we're focused on. Um, another area that we are innovating a lot is, uh, and related a lot to what Tom is doing in terms of artificial intelligence and the use of machine learning for all different areas of financial services, uh, we are in innovating in confidential computing. We know that data sharing across institutions is very important, but we know that it needs to be remain confidential for each one of those institutions. So that's an area that we at AWS, are in, in, in all, all the cloud providers obviously, are innovating and that's what we are uh, focused on in working with the business teams from SWIFT and the banks to ensure that we can support them with the technology, um, that innovation that needs to happen. So we're innovating very fast on that area, but I think the demands are actually going faster sometimes <laughs> than the innovations. You've got to keep pace with each other. <laughs> keep pace with each other, exactly, yes. But I mean, look, so much is happening in this space, and you know, you've both given me a, a very comprehensive guide about this. But again, it's a question to both of you. What topic or theme, perhaps, requires more collaboration from the industry at the moment. Is there anything specific that we're missing and that we need to get across now? So Tom and I actually have a very um, similar view on this. We think there is an area for innovation in the industry where we actually require banks, market infrastructure, fintechs, and technology firms to come together, and this is around identity, and ensuring that we define governance and technical frameworks for identity globally. And that's an area that we need to innovate because all these uh, experiments around interoperability are going to depend heavily on having a common identity framework that everybody trusts and then everybody can implement in a secure and obviously in a fast way. So we think that that's an area that we actually invite all the viewers to reach out to both of us to collaborate on because we really are keen to kick off the conversation and, and help the industry move forward. Tom, I don't know if you want to add something. Yeah, I, I would just add to that. I mean, uh, there's, there's virtually nothing that we're working on at SWIFT today by ourselves in a lab. So everything that we're doing is about collaboration. It's about co-creation. It's about you know uh, uh, pulling together uh, participants across our ecosystem, which is which is vast, um, to, to actually figure out how to solve industry solutions. Right? If we can't scale it, and we can't get it into production, then it, it really doesn't make the innovation agenda at Swift. Okay. Look, we're going to have to leave it there. But thank you both so much for taking me through this area. It is complicated, but it's also extremely exciting. It's a really powerful glimpse into the future and how it can look. But that was Tom Schack, who's the Chief Innovation Officer at Swift, and also Gloria Vargas, who's Global Partnership Lead at Amazon Web Services.